Good day and welcome to another educative session with Monaco Daniel. In today's video, we'll be looking at the art and science of airdrops. I know you barely hear people talking about cryptocurrency these days without hearing about airdrop, one airdrop or another, one airdrop or another from people. But the facts remain that most of these people that go about talking about airdrops, campaigning for particular airdrops, barely understand a thing or two about what airdrops is originally about or why projects embark on airdrop for a lot of these people for them airdrop is just about getting the free coin and then pass they don't want to understand why the, why the airdrop or what is it for the company for the project by doing an airdrop so in this video i will try as much as i can to give a simple and short explanations as to what airdrops are all about and why projects embark on airdrop now with that being said let's look at what the concept of airdrops is all about now, I know for a lot of us, when we hear airdrop, what comes into our mind is crypto airdrop. We usually feel like the whole idea of airdrop, the whole concept surrounding airdrop originates from cryptocurrency. But no, the term airdrop exists long before cryptocurrencies. Basically, in its original form, airdrop is approach, is a tactic used by government during crisis to deliver crates of foodstuffs and other essential supplies to its citizens so before the emergence of cryptocurrency the practice of airdrops have been in place where you find crisis where you find chaos government adopts the system to deliver foodstuffs to its citizens Last year, we saw we saw a practical case of the traditional concept of airdrop during the COVID-19 lockdown. We saw that in most developed countries, the government were using drones to deliver foodstuffs to the doorstep of, of citizens. That is practically what the whole concept of airdrop was initially about. However, we've seen a great change in the whole idea of airdrops since the emergence of cryptocurrencies and Ethereum smart contracts sometime in 2017. Now, cryptocurrency airdrop are basically or is basically a process by which companies distribute their token to the wallet of certain users completely free of charge. Yeah, when I say completely free of charge, I mean completely free of charge. I know we'll be asking ourselves, why free? Why would the project want to go through all the stress of designing a coin or a token, deploying this coin to the blockchain, and then give it freely to people? So we'll look quickly at why airdrops. There are several reasons why projects embark on airdrops there are countless reasons but for me i have highlighted just six, these six reasons for the purpose of this video so firstly to generate awareness to create awareness now the idea of airdrop is usually adopted by by new projects by new cryptocurrency projects these projects coming newly into the crypto space there's, there's this challenge of gaining market shares having to gain relevance in the market so a couple of these new projects in order to to create awareness in the market gives their token free of charge to certain users they give it free of charge now the idea is this if um let's say i am launching a particular project on the blockchain and i decide to give a particular fraction of my coin as airdrop 
those who have benefited from these airdrops are ordinarily ordinarily they would want to talk to, to people about this airdrop you want to tell your friend like ah i just got so so dollar worth of um coin from this airdrop i got this from this airdrop now one way or the other the message spreads across and a lot of people are attracted to this project you want to find out like what is this project about now in a way you have the, the projects have created awareness for its token simply by doing an airdrop now, another reason why a project might want to consider airdrop is to understand its users find projects on the blockchain wanting to know its users preference what do, what do the community want what do the community perceive about this project so in the process of them doing an airdrop there's usually a form i know these days we have more of the google form you find projects through doing airdrops releasing forms for participants to fill then on filling this form they are rewarded to the airdrop token so a project might want to undertake on an airdrop just to understand its users to know what its users really want what they look out for in the market their taste their preference another reason why a particular project might want to embark on airdrops is to reward or inspire loyalty certain crypto projects might embark on airdrop just to reward it on community members you see um projects like binance and trust wallet on twitter they are constantly engaging their community on twitter now from time to time you find these projects maybe come up with a challenge or a task and then reward participants or selected participants with airdrop token last year sometime last year i participated in one of the binance wisdom of the crowd challenge i i didn't emerge the winner of the challenge but i got a certain amount of t of twt token basically by participating in this challenge so a reason why project might want to do airdrop might be to encourage participation among community members now another reasons for airdrop is wider distribution of token i think this is self-explanatory most projects you don't want to create a project and then have only just a very few number of people engaged or participating in your project so most um projects consider airdrop to draw attention to create wider distribution for their token you give let's say um a hundred token to a hundred people this hundred people post about it in fact in in most cases before certain projects will give you a particular amount of their token as an airdrop there's usually a task a couple of them will ask you to okay like this tweet retweet it comment get engaged by doing so your followers on twitter get to see um this retweet and are drawn to this project they'll be like okay let me let me read a thing or two about this project and then some of them might find interest in the project and invest in it so airdrops encourage wider distribution of token another reasons why projects might want to do airdrop is because basically because of ad forks ad fork as it relates to blockchain technology is simply a change in uh, a change to net to a particular project network let's say for example that a particular crypto project is initially this uh, deployed on the ethereum blockchain maybe for reasons best known to the project they decide to move from ethereum blockchain network to binance smart chain to encourage their community members to move their token from from an erc20 wallet to a bsc or bp20 wallet they might say okay for moving your token you get 
total amount of token of this token free last year i got to receive about 1000 innbc simply by moving my twt from bp2 to bp20 when trust wallet token migrated from the initial binance chain network bp2 to bp20 there was this urge they had to encourage their community members to go ahead and move their token to migrate their token from binance smart chain from binance chain bp2 to binance smart chain which is bp20 which i did and then the next day i got 1000 inn bc as a reward for migrating my token so ad forks can be another reason why projects might want to embark on airdrop now last but not the least i had to put it last because it's, it's something i'm very very interested in fundraising i know a lot of people want to ask like why fundraising for god's sake these people are giving out tokens they are giving out money freely how do they stand to raise funds for themselves doing so so these questions i'm going to answer in the next slide now we might see a little bit of calculations but not to worry just simple calculations no not any serious mathematics down there i just had to add this slide basically to explain how crypto projects might look to raise funds through airdrops now let's say we as crypto enthusiasts decide to deploy a project to the blockchain and then the name of this project is obviously crypto enthusiast the project token is enthusiast token and then the the launch price for this token is at 10 cents with a circulating supply of 100 million uh, enthusiast token and then a market cap of 10 million dollars now if the team decides to give 20 million enthusiast token as an airdrop 20 million enthusiast token is going to make up for about 20 percent of the circulating supply what do they stand to gain how do they do they stand to raise funds by doing so now by giving 20 million enthusiast token the team have given out 2 million out of uh, the 10 million dollar market capitalization basically through airdrops now this means that the overall market capitalization of the coin of enthusiast token have gone down from its original 10 million dollar to 8000 dollar because we have given 20 million um, ENTH as airdrop and 20 million ENTH multiplied by the current price of 10 cents 2 million dollar now if you deduct this 2 million dollar from the 10 million dollar we have as the market capitalization for this token then you will find out that, that the current market capitalization the actual market capitalization is going to go down by two million dollar leaving the team with eight million dollar worth of token but as the airdrop campaign continues we are going to have um social medias flooded by tweets and retweets about the airdrop now this is going to call for a lot of attention it will it will attract a lot of people in the crypto space to looking into this project this is going to increase the overall perceived value of this coin now let's assume we are not selling any more coin we are not selling coin we only give out 20 million uh, tokens for airdrops and then people the social media get flooded people are going to come to 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 the realization of this token looking for ways to acquire this token now this pressure alone is going to create a perceived increase in value but just a perceived increase in value caused by by increased um interest or pressure in buying pressure now if if this increment in the perceived um coin value causes causes the overall value of each token to rise by just 0.04 dollar that's about 0.4 cents 
the overall market capitalization of the token will, is going to go up from the original ten million dollar to around eleven point two million dollar. Now we have we haven't sold any more coin. We have uh twenty million token in circulation, basically from airdrop. Now this twenty million token causes causes attention on social media, causes increased perceived value of this token from ten cents to fourteen cents. Z from zero point one dollar to zero point one four dollar. Now when you multiply this zero point one four dollar by the remaining circulating supply, the um the project is left with about eighty million supply. When you multiply this zero point one four by eighteen by eighty million, you are going to get around eleven point two million. So basically the project market capitalization rised up from ten million dollar to eleven point two million dollar even without selling a single coin just by doing an airdrop. So like I said this video is going to is going to walk us through the art and science of airdrops. Fundraising through crypto airdrop is the science of airdrops. You give out you give out a particular supply of your token to to create uh, increased buying pressure which causes the price of your token to rise and then increase in, in the market capitalization of that token. The, another clear example of this is uh, the Uniswap airdrop we saw last year. Uniswap gave $1,400 worth of airdrop to each of its users. Everyone that has used airdrop up until September 1st last year got around $1,400 worth of Uniswap token. Immediately, the whole, the whole internet was flooded about news of the of Uniswap airdrop and people started jumping in to buy this token. It and it caused a tremendous rise in the price of this coin from that three dollar if I'm not mistaken as at when they give the airdrop to around to even it went up to around thirty forty dollar so that is it for this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos thank you